Are you arriving to Singapore, or departing, or even just transiting in the world best airport, Singapore Changi Airport? Here are the animated graphic information on what to expect and the procedures for each three scenarios. As some travelers find it quite different from where they lived or other countries that they had visited. Upon disembarking from the plane, you find yourself in the transit public space. I use this term is because until you pass through immigration, you haven't officially entered Singapore. In this shared space, passengers arriving and departing intermingle with each other's, connecting you to terminals 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here's a map, indicating the location of all the four terminals and the famous Jewel. Terminal 1, 2, and 3 are the closest to Jewel and can be reached by just walking. But as for Terminal 4, you will need to take a free shuttle bus in order to reach Jewel. The nearest terminal to Jewel is Terminal 1, conveniently situated just across from the arrival hall. If the bustling crowd of family members awaiting their loved ones doesn't obstruct the view, you can actually catch a glimpse of Jewel right from the baggage claim areas. Follow the directional signage that lead you to the arrival area, the initial stop where you'll clear immigration. It marks the transition from the transit public space to the official entry point of Singapore. Have your passport ready and proceed to the new Automated Clearance Initiative System ACI, currently eligible to only a list of countries. For those not in the eligible list of countries, you can proceed to the immigration counters instead. But before any of that, or even before your flight, do remember to submit your SG arrival card. Without it, you can't enter Singapore, and application is free. In the worst-case scenario, if you happen to forget to submit your SG arrival card upon arrival, there's no need to panic. You can still submit it, although the potential issue could be with your visa application. Visa approval may take some time, and there's even a chance of rejection. To avoid any complications, it is advisable to submit your arrival card three to one days prior to arrival. For those entering Singapore visa-free, this won't pose any problem. For countries eligible to use the Automated Clearance Initiative system, please follow these following steps. Step 1. Scan your passport at one of the lane, and the ACI system will verify your identity using the biometric data stored in the passport's microchip. This ensures a secure and accurate identification process. Once the reading is completed, it will prompt you to remove the passport. The first gate will then open for you to enter the lane. If this is not your first trip but subsequent entry and already enrolled into the system, same procedures apply with either scanning the passport or your iris and facial scanning if applicable and when departure, scan your boarding pass when prompt on the screen. Step 2. In the middle of the lane, look directly at the camera and the system will capture your iris, facial image, and thumbprint for further verification. Don't worry, this image is securely encrypted and only used for immigration purposes. Step 3. Once your identity is confirmed, the automated gates will open, allowing you to proceed through immigration. And that's it, it's a seamless and efficient process that saves valuable time and reduces queues. If this is your first time, you will be notified of your successful enrollment into the ACI through your electronic visit pass, e-pass, via email. The ACI system is not only available to Singapore citizens and permanent residents, but also to eligible visitors from selected countries. Here's the list of countries that are currently eligible for the ACI system. You can also visit the official Immigration and Checkpoints Authority of Singapore website or inquire at your local Singapore embassy or consulate. The baggage claim area follows immediately after the immigration checkpoints. Along the way, you'll encounter duty-free shops, offering the option to indulge in some retail therapy either before or after collecting your luggage. The last step includes navigating through customs. In Chinese Airport, there are no queues, only two prominent signboards, the green signboard, designated for those with nothing to declare, and the red signboard, for individuals declaring goods. At this point, it is entirely depends on individuals to truthfully declare any items. However, custom officers may selectively choose passengers for a security check on their luggage and personal belongings. If you have nothing to declare, proceed toward the sliding glass doors with the green nothing to declare signboard and exit the doors. 
Once you step past the sliding glass door, you are officially marking your entry into Singapore. For transit passengers, there's no need to go through the immigration checkpoint. Simply remain within the airport's transit public areas and enjoy the services of the world's best airport has to offer, that include dining, shopping, and free entertainment. The airport has everything you need while waiting for your boarding time. When it's time to board your plane, please proceed to your boarding gate. At the boarding gate, you need to pass through the security checkpoint, where the security officers will check your boarding pass, your carry-on and personal belongings, and this is the only checkpoint that you must go through during your transit. And also, please note that, you don't need to submit the SG arrival card during transit, unless you plan to exit the airport to visit Jewel, or join the free Singapore tour, cater just for transit passengers, during their short layover. Here's the website about the free Singapore tour, please check the tour eligibility requirement, the timing, and the type of tour available. Now, let's talk about your departure procedures. The procedure may differ from those in Japan, South Korea, and other countries that you may have visited. After obtaining your boarding pass at the departure hall counters, you will proceed to the departure immigration checkpoint. Here, at the automatic clearance system, your passport and boarding pass undergo scanning, similar to what you do when clearing the arrival immigration checkpoint. At the departure immigration checkpoint, scan your passport or boarding pass, enter the first gate, scan your facial and iris, and exit the last gate. And that's it, you have officially exit Singapore in terms of documentation. And soon, Singaporean don't even need to present their passport anymore. Just there's iris and facial, and they are cleared through the immigration checkpoint. Depending on which terminals you are in, for Terminal 1, 2, and 3, once you have cleared the departure immigration checkpoint, you will straightaway enter the transit public space, where you will have the opportunity to shop and dine, while waiting for your boarding time. If you have ample time to spare, you can head to the cinema in Terminal 3, for your free complimentary movies. The last checkpoint, at the boarding gate, just before boarding, you must undergo the security checkpoint, where they check your carry-on and personal bag. After clearing the checkpoint, the airport staff will do the final check on your passport, boarding pass, and provide you with the immigration arrival card, or form from your destination country. In some countries, this checkpoint serves as the initial departure procedure, immediately after acquiring your boarding pass at the departure hall counters. Following the security checkpoint clearance, you move on to the departure immigration checkpoints before entering the transit public spaces and finally to your boarding gate without further security screening. Whether it is security checkpoint first or at the last stage, I think it is really depend on the airport management and the space available in the airport. Finally, you find yourself in the boarding gate waiting zone, patiently awaiting the official boarding time, signaling the next phase of your journey as you prepare to board your flight. Depending on the boarding gate size, the checking of your passport, boarding pass, and issuing of the immigration arrival form will be done just before boarding time for the larger boarding gate. For those who depart from Terminal 4, it will be different from the three other terminals. Right after clearing through the departure immigration checkpoint, you will straight away proceed to security screening, where custom officers will check your boarding pass, carry-on, and your personal belongings. From there on, you just need to wait for your boarding time and board your plane, no more security check needed. Just remember, during arrival, you only need to pass through one immigration checkpoint, but remember to submit your SG arrival card first. During departure, you will have to go through two checkpoints, the departure immigration checkpoint and the security checkpoint. For transit only, you don't have to clear the immigration checkpoint or submit the SG arrival card unless you want to enter Singapore. You just need to go through the security checkpoint before boarding. Click here for more videos regarding essential information about your trip to Singapore. Thank you for staying to the end.